Welcome back, everybody. He is the executive chef of Manit Shohan's new Chinese restaurant, and we're so excited that Chris is with us in our Super Home Surplus Kitchen. Say the name of the restaurant so I say it correctly. Tanso. Tanso. I love it. All right, so you're doing dumplings for us today, and I said I would gladly help. Yes. I've never done this before, so. Yes, so we're going to make uh, siumai, which is an open-faced pork dumpling. Okay. And we serve that at Tanso. Oh. So um, let's get started, Let's right? get, started. get started. Okay. All right. So these are wonton wrappers. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to show you one. Basically, now, can I get these anywhere? Where do I need to find you these? You can get these at any Asian supermarket. Okay. Okay. So a little bit of uh, the pork mix in here. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you hold that? Okay. Holding okay. it. Yep. And I'll get one too. <laughs> and we could do them together. Okay. This sounds right. great. Okay. Now you guys just opened. We just opened this past week. I heard so it's, amazing. it's been really exciting. Yes. Uh, really, really, um, really, really great nights serving food and great Chinese food. So Tanso means to explore. And we're exploring a lot of things that have to do with Chinese culture. And I do it best through food. Oh, right? I love that. Yeah. Okay. So I've got this in my hands. Okay, so, show me. So basically you take it, pinch. Okay. Pinching. Mm -hmm. Pinch. Right. And then you can use your thumb to kind of fold it back. Pinch. Oh. oh. Pinch. This looks like pinch. a... Am I doing this right? Yeah. How am I doing? Pinch. Am I, I'm kind of kind of making a mess. Hold it here. All right. All right. right. Here. Let okay. Me, let me see. Right there. Right, yeah. Okay. And then once you got all the folds, you can just turn. It looks squeeze like a little, a little flower. Bit. There you go. You oh, got it. Okay. Squeeze it down. Okay. Okay. Right. I got you. I yeah. got you. Look at that. Okay. Right. Hey, that's pretty cute. Good. All right. I don't know how it's going to taste, but it looks good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You did a good job. So you can now, put them in the basket. Talk to me about this. What happens in here? This is like a little. So steamer. this is the bamboo steamer, right? Okay. So yeah. the um, so the water goes through the slots in the steamer. Okay. And it uh, cooks the dumpling. Okay, all right, and then you could stack them all the way high, so you could make multiple orders. Oh my oh, goodness! Sure. Okay, so tell me about Manit and how you guys got together and how the concept for this all started. So yeah, me and Manit met in New York uh, a few years ago, and she um, she started to come down here and build her empire. Right. Right. And yes. uh, and so one of her ideas was to do a Chinese restaurant, and I happen to be a Chinese chef, so she came down and um, you know she ate some of my food, and we you know got to know each other a little bit better. And um, and then she she took my hand and dragged me down to Nashville and said, "Here's your restaurant." So what do you think so far? I mean, it's kind of crazy. Our culinary scene is really exploding, and she's a big part of that. She's yes. made that happen. But it seems like we just really have become a completely different city when it talks about the culinary experience. Well, I got to tell you. Yeah. I came to this city uh, with an open mind, and it's blowing me away because Good. the food scene is so awesome here. It's so passionate yes. about what they're cooking. Uh, the level of cooking it uh, is really high. Uh, I'm really enjoying what I eat. So, oh, I'm so yeah. excited so, to hear So, and then to that. come down and cook here, yeah. you know, it's uh, it's all that much better. Even yeah. better. Okay, so we have other ingredients here. So yeah, here. so Talk you, to me you, about so you want to make a dipping sauce Let's with the uh, shumai, right? Okay, yeah. So you can start with some soy sauce. Okay. And it's really easy. You're just basically mixing ingredients. A little soy sauce. Got it. A little sesame oil. Mm-hmm. A little ginger. Mm, I love ginger. Uh, this is star anise, so this is uh, puts uh, a little bit of um, like uh, fennel flavor. Okay. You know. Very nice. Um, okay. The whole and, thing in there. Yep. A little bit of sugar. Mm. All right, you're gonna make it a little bit sweet. Okay. A little bit of vinegar. You know he's a chef because he just like throws it in. Yeah. Like I'm over here with a teaspoon trying to measure it out, make sure it's perfect. You're like, eh, just put it in there. It's all about fun and you it's know, fun. and making good okay. food, right? Good. So you got this little dry chili, so you want a little bit, you know, I know uh, you guys like your uh, your heat a little bit, right? So most yes. everybody, I'm yes. not really into hot stuff so well, it, much. So you know, you can control it. it, you know, we'll put one perfect. broken chili okay. in there. Okay, good. Right? That, that and you just good. muddle it and okay. we have as a dipping sauce. So oh, um then we'll come back to our dumplings, right? Do they quick they're pretty quick? They're pretty quick. It's about six to seven minutes. Minutes per dumpling oh, on uh, on okay. simmering water. Got it. Um, but like I said, we have the stack, so you know the great. power of that. <gasps> I have them ready for you. Right? Boom! Look okay. at yes. you. Yes. So hey, turn it on channel four. They're making Asian dumplings. Yeah. Right all right. You no, just I'm came in. The, in for I'm in the kitchen. No, Stop I gotta go. It. Bye. I'm bye. Hang up. So we top our dumplings with a little bit of exo relish. Mm. And a little bit of crab paste. Oh. Right? So the exo relish. Okay. Uh, like I said, we you know. Um, there's a lot of cool things in Chinese cooking, right? Yes. So I want to introduce a lot of uh, stuff that maybe might not be on the beaten track oh, uh, to eat. So better. the exo sauce is made with scallops that have been dried yes. and shrimp that have been dried, and it just gives this really 
unctuous taste because of the uh, because of the seafood and that you know the fifth flavor and and Love and it. all well, that good for stuff. For those who are lucky enough to have smell TV, this is an absolute. This is amazing. <laughs> this is great. He's yeah. gonna dive in. I'm gonna tell everybody where they yes. can go. Go to tensalnashville.com. Yep. Sure. There it is on the bottom of the screen. Make a reservation. <laughs> Look, he knew that that was coming. I'm gonna come over here. <laughs> and here's a different sauce too. You can also check so out you, the uh, menu. It's beautiful. Here you go. Wait a minute. You got to do it. I got chopsticks. It? Look. I don't do chopsticks. I, got... I can really do my fingers. Excellent. <laughs> They're on 12th Avenue North. You can North. come into the restaurant anytime. It's a beautiful location. Thank what you so you much for coming oh, in. Oh, my pleasure. We my love pleasure. having you here. Thank Thanks. You. And welcome to Nashville. Thank All you. Right. Thank you for having me.